in this demo, what I'm going to show you is uh, sort of turning how to turn uh, a raster layer into a whole sequence of points. So you're kind of unrasterizing, you might say, uh, your your uh, your raster layer, your image, your geotiff, or whatever. Because of course, a a raster is made up of lots and lots of pixels. So basically, what I'm going to do is turn those pixels back into points, into vectors. So what that means is, and I could then carry out queries and do a query definition, that sort of thing, uh, on the layer. So it's just another way of getting to the raster data uh, if you want to actually work with uh, vector geometry. So in QGIS, I have uh, 3.4. This is Madeira, and uh, named after my favorite cake. And here in the processing toolbox, you will see raster pixels to points. So I click on that. And then uh, that raster, that one there, is just called small clip. And I'm going to just create a temporary layer. And I'm not going to, could, I could click on here, go to browser, record to a file, whatever. Um, but I'll, uh, there's only one band as well, and I and I want the value into the into the uh, points layer. So it's just this this small uh, raster. So I run that, and you can see behind how there's this sort of mass of points. If I turn off the clip itself and just zoom in, you can see how against my raster backdrop there. Um, it's uh, just this mass of points, which is what you'd expect because it's a raster image it's made out of pixels, but I've now turned them back into points. If I open the attribute table for that, so you're dealing with a lot of records here, of course. Um, in fact, in this case, I'm dealing with almost 140,000, but you can see how I've got the values uh, for each of the pixels, which are now points. So if I just go to vector points, double click, click on symbology, what I could do is categorize this now and say it'll, it'll be loads of um, uh, values. So I need to pick the value column, of course. Let's just delete the classification and then hit classify again. It will be a lot of entries. Yeah, I, I understand that. And I'll choose some kind of reds I think I'll just do reds and then apply and you see how now you see so what I've done is I've classified against the value so I kind of worked backwards as, as you can see because now I've got this um, uh, symbolized uh, load of points which effectively means I've just gone back to uh, create my raster if I turn off this color for a second, my map background, but you see um, there it is. So uh, I, I've just uh, symbolized it if, uh, with, with category. If I turn on small clip, you can see how the original raster, as expected, matches up with my pixels. But what, what, but these these are now vector points. So this is, I can do my querying. So if I double click on the layer, I could click on source and set a query definition for this layer. So I Query Builder. Layer would probably work a bit quicker if I uh, uh, had a few. Um, if I'd saved it to file, quite possibly. Um, and I can do value. And then in a previous in previous videos, I've had this sort of uh, height value calculation. Um, because I worked out that was sort of in a in a, in a, um, a valley, um, those height values greater than 770, less than 10, I think it might be 1015 actually. Uh, and then if I click OK, so these are just height, the elevation data. That's all. So I'm saying just pick out those uh, those records and see it's really cleared it. Let's press OK. Uh, it's made this file called vector points. Let's just zoom, and it's just a handful, as expected, because um, I've done this before. 
and now I'll just turn off the raster and turn back on my Orbis. So all those records are now, uh, if I hover over vector points, they've got that elevation. Um, uh, they've got my query definition elevation, so greater than 770 and less than 1,015 meters. So it's just those. Uh, so that uh, if I now reclassify, delete those, classify, classify, okay, and then I'll get um, my sort of classification using height. But of course, the original raster um, still said uh, gave you the same story. But now I can process and work uh, with my vector uh, data using vector tools in the toolbox rather than raster tools. So if you're really keen on um, lots of vector uh, geometry uh, tool sets and to use those for your analysis, whatever that analysis may be, uh, then uh, raster pixels to point could be the answer for you uh, to, to sort of continue with, with that kind of analysis. So this is just, so as you can see, I reversed back from the raster, uh, created my um, points uh, from pixels. It was very easy to to do with uh, QGIS. It's just this tool, and um, and then uh, and like I said, I could have created a file name. My um, raster points, for example, and um, and just write it off. But the, but that's all you uh, have to do. And then when you've got those rest, those vectors. Um, Sorry, those, uh, yeah, those, that, that geometry, I can click on a point and, of course, at that sort of scale, on. there it is. So you can see how it fits within uh, my 770-115 as I click on them. And I could use this, uh, and you can see the, quite clear the resolution of the pixels actually as well there. But I could use these uh, for a whole variety of vector processing um, sort of purposes. Anyway, I hope that's useful um, and uh, please drop a comment or, or something if you'd like to uh, um, know a bit more about uh, about these sorts of uh, processing uh, capabilities in QGIS which are, as you can see, very powerful. Thanks very much.